Eagles are 1-0, baby. Let's go. Welcome to the channel where I'm talking all things Philadelphia Eagles, New York Yankees, New Jersey Devils, and Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. What's going on, Eagles fans? My name is Travis Solanas. Coming at you guys the first Post game of the season, and it's a good one. Our birds are one know. They got the W. Let's go. That's what counts. Got the win. Just hit that subscribe button right now. Subscribe to the channel. We're greatly appreciated. The Philadelphia Eagles got the W 25 20. Cannot say enough. Stress it. Whew. Take a deep breath. Relax. It's a W. Um, it's very stressful, obviously. Tight game 25 20. Had the 16 point lead after the first quarter. Then the Patriots, 14 points, second quarter, 16 14. Made it real tight the whole rest of the game. Coming down to that final play, Josh Job comes in for uh, Bradbury, I believe. And um, big time play, big time play. Knocking the receiver out of bounds, only allowing him to get one foot down in bounds and giving the Eagles the victory. Huge, huge came down to the absolute wire. Defense stepped up when it mattered most. They were not uh, perfect. Uh, as the whole team was not perfect today, but they made plays when it mattered. Got two turnovers, and uh, we'll get into all of it. But again, uh, a lot didn't go right. But then in the day, the birds got the win. It's all that matters. What Jalen Hurts said. So everybody says, "Win is a win is a win." It's hard to win in the National Football League. But uh, we'll start with with the offense. The offense, uh, it, was, it was not too good. Not too good, right? Um, first game, uh, first time whole units play together. No preseason action for the birds, and uh. Jalen Hurts definitely rusty. He was not sharp today. He had one touchdown passing to Dante Smith uh, between 100 and 150 yards through the air, I believe. Well, between 100 and 200. Uh, obviously, no t picks, but had a huge fumble late in that fourth quarter. Running design quarterback draw. Gets hit hard. And the ball goes flying out. Obviously, that cannot happen. Cannot turn the ball over any time in the game, especially late in the game right there in a big situation. But uh, he just kind of, he wasn't, didn't seem too comfortable, too confident all the time. Uh, obviously, the O-line didn't help Mount, did not play too well in this, for this game, this game one of the season. He missed some throws, missed some guys that were open. Just uh, not a great game for Jalen Hurts. Obviously, he'll own that totally. He knows he's going to get back to work right when they get back to Philly and everything. He'll get a tape and get ready for, obviously, a short week coming up, Minnesota, Thursday night at the Link home opener. But I'm, I'm confident Jalen Hurts will bounce back totally. Yeah, it's a rough game. He's MVP, got paid him money. He's our quarterback. And uh, he saw he thanked the whole defense, the whole, whole rest of the team. They picked him up today in a game where he did not play, obviously, near his potential, how he played last season and all. And uh, he'll definitely bounce back. But again, the O-line didn't help him out. Didn't uh, protect him well enough as they should have. Uh, it wasn't huge lanes of running gear and everything. But I will get into Brian Johnson, OC. I think Nick said he did uh, was awesome. It was, it was not too good. Play calling was definitely not not uh, too good today. Week one, obviously. Um, they got finally got AJ Brown going, Devontae Smith a bit. But Dallas Goddard, your big time tight end, Dallas Goddard. No targets in the first half, just one target in the whole game. Zero. Goose egg, zero catches for tight end, Dallas Goddard. He gets to use very frustrated after the game. Obviously, didn't didn't say too many harsh words. Said he obviously wants the ball. It didn't come his way this game. Hopefully, next week get some more targets and catches. Get some catches, but he says he uh, can take his frustration out. Uh, he wouldn't run blocking, uh, blocking his defenders and everything. But yeah, I mean he, get, he can't control that. Obviously, he he wants to have a really good year. Having zero catches, only one target today, definitely probably pissed him off. But at the end of the day, I think he said they won the game. It's a team win. They, uh, they fought hard all together, get the win. And uh, but as a whole, though, Brian Johnson, obviously, you see why he knows this. I believe my buddy Brock told me last year, it was game one. Devontae Smith, he had a goose egg, I believe zero catches, but I see he bounced back week two, week three. It was his time, and he balled out. So, obviously, whole season left. Dallas Scott will definitely get his touches and catches, but the talent he has and is Dallas Goddard, you got to design plays and get him the ball. Uh, multiple, many times throughout the game, and Brian Johnson obviously did not do that. Hurts didn't get him the ball one time. He would have had him for a wide open touchdown, just missed there. Next play went after him for his one target of the game, high throw to him in the sideline. So, yeah, it's a, all in all, just 
not great. Uh, running backs uh, ran the ball 16 times, and uh, Kenny Gainwell had 14 of those 16 carries. Yeah, Boston Scott and Andrew Swift had the other carries. Can they only get one carry each? Rashad Penny was the healthy scratch today. And uh, so, yeah, uh, I guess A.J. Brown, I believe on the box score in front of me. Brown and Smith ended up playing pretty well. Brown almost connected with Hurts on the deep ball. Little juggle there. Incompletion was a big, I would say, a big uh, play that would have went big for the Birds. Instead, it didn't happen. But all in all, offense has to be much, much better. And I believe they definitely will be moving forward into Thursday night. Defense, they were uh, up and down, up and down. Got two turnovers, the pick six for Darius Slay. Huge, big play, Slay. Love that. And then uh, the forced fumble, fumble recovery. Jordan Davis knocking the ball out of Elliott, getting the fumble there. Huge Cunningham, I believe, recovered it. Throw two turnovers, one turnover battle. Uh, mixed bag. It's big plays. And then I uh, got worn down and patched the zone defense. Eagles, Eagles were running. Started uh, shredding us apart. Just shredding us apart up and down the field. Defense, hands on the hips. Guys were very, very tired. Gas from the D-line, corners, safeties, linebackers. The whole defense just gas. You can see that. So guys going down to Kobe Dean. Uh, Bradbury, Fletcher Cox, a couple other guys. Uh, injured in this game. Not good. Hopefully Dean will be all right and everything. But, uh, yeah, so defense mixed back. Uh, but then again, they stepped up when they had to do. Uh, Jalen Carter, uh, big sacks. I believe Carter, Davis in there. Getting uh, some big-time plays when they had to do. And obviously, Josh Joby, Job coming in, making the big play to, uh, to seal the game and get the birds to win. Big. I mean, it was right there. Came literally down to the wire, the final play. Pats closed in on a touchdown and would have put him ahead. Won the game. But uh, defense held tough and uh, didn't allow it to happen. And the birds won. Now, uh, guys talk about special teams. Jake Elliott, as a whole, special teams kind of mixed, but uh, Jake Elliott, player of the game. Four for four for field goals, a long of 56, long field goals. I believe 56, 151, 40 yarder. Missed one extra point, uh, but money from deep field goals and off all four of those. He made, as I mentioned, which was huge. Player of the game really won us the football game today. I was getting on kind of Mike Clay a little bit because he had some guys on his units or some plays where didn't have enough didn't have, did not have enough guys on the field at times and the coverage wasn't great and everything. But then Sidney Brown made a great play on punt coverage, uh, perfect timing, drilling the uh, the returner for the Patriots. So they got better the special teams and obviously Jake Elliott was great. So good job for them. He won us the game. So all in all, again, 25-20. It was a score in this game, and uh, it was around a four point, four and a half point spread. So they end up covering. It was a tight, tight game up there in New England, right? Rain, uh, their home opener. They had packed that stadium. Tom Brady, um, they're just getting honored today, the whole ceremony. So they bought the juice. They got down early. Birds couldn't have put them away, and they climbed back and were in the game the whole time. They're, they're a solid team. Uh, they're going to be pretty solid this year again. Max Jones leading the way. I guess we're good skill guys. Solid defense. So. And uh, NFC champs, birds, uh, obviously, look, these are games you got to win. You got to win. Championship teams, they didn't play championship caliber today, but championship teams find a way to win these games. That's what the birds did. Took care of business in week one, 1-0. One now, the home opener, Thursday night at Lincoln Financial Field. Eagles taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Can't wait for that one. That's all I got right now. If you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the win today, Give the video a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. Have a good one, everybody. Let's go birds.